In this video, I want to show you how to find your Emacs user preferences file. This is important if you want to extend the capabilities of org mode. We'll need to use this if you, for example, wish to enable org mode to handle Python code blocks or shell code blocks or some other computer language. So I'll show you three different platforms. I'll show you Windows, Mac, and Linux. So let's get started with Windows. I'll open up Emacs. Here I have Emacs 26.3. So there it is. I use it, so it's there. In any version of Emacs, you can read the value of the user init file variable. So to do that, I type control H, V, and then type the variable name. So user init file. And it tells me, here's the value, it's .emacs. So that tilde there tells me that that's in my home directory, wherever my home directory is. One way to look at this file is in the command line. So I can just choose the find, and then I have the command prompt. And uh, this tells me where my home directory is, because it generally starts up in my user home directory. So if I type dir, and then uh, we're looking for a .emacs file. And it shows me it found one file, .emacs. And now that I know it exists and what its name is and what its path is, I can open it up in Emacs. So the keystrokes to open things up in Emacs are uh, like this. Control X, Control F, that tells us to open a file. And my home, as we know, is users and then my username. Uh, but I'm going to just use the shortcut here. So I've just deleted the default text there, and I'm just going to put in dot emacs so it's the path to my home directory forward slash dot emacs that didn't quite work so uh let's try that again see it wanted to open up a new file so let's uh do control x control c close it and start over and we'll open it again control x control f and let's type in here the path and there it is. Uh, there's some content in here that's already been generated, so we won't mess with that. So that's how you find and open your Emacs preferences file on Windows. Now let's look at Mac. We can do the same thing here. Control H, V, user init file, and it's telling me the answer here. It's telling me exactly where to find it. Okay, so here, if I want to open it, Control X, F, doing this in a different window. So here it looks like the tilde is going to work. And it's this file in the bottom window. I want to get rid of the top window, so I click on the bottom and then escape, escape, escape. There it is. So one thing to point out here is this Emacs file, it's actually pointing me to a different location. Aquamax created this file. Consider moving my startup settings to preferences.el. So uh, let's try that. And then here's my preferences file. I've already extended it quite a bit, so there's a lot of stuff there. Okay, so we've seen Windows, Mac. Now let's show you on Linux. It's quite the same. Here's a Linux window. I'm going to open up a terminal. I can do an ls.emacs, and sure enough, I have one. So I could just use Emacs to open it. And here it is. You can see I already have some customization here. So I've shown you how to find your Emacs preferences file on Windows, Mac, and PC. In later videos, I'll show you how to add customizations to this so you can do things like execute Python code blocks if that doesn't already work for you. If you found this helpful, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.